you may disagree with Ben Carson's view, but you have to admire a man who's so consistently committed to saving money. Like, you have to admire that, unless it's all bullshit. A whistleblower at the Department of Housing and Urban Development is sounding off. An ex-staffer says she was demoted after refusing to spend more than the legal $5,000 limit to redecorate Secretary Ben Carson's new office. She says that the pressure continued for her to, again, quote, find the money, find a way around this legal cap of spending only $5,000 for redecorating uh, the office. She says her supervisor told her, quote, $5,000 will not even buy a decent chair. Wait, what? <laughs> Does Ben Carson think a good chair costs $5,000? This guy will be the worst Price is Right contestant. <laughs> How much for this can of beans? My guess is three million dollars. <laughs> Wait, that's a wrong answer. Four million dollars. No, you're getting it wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What is four million dollars? <laughs> Seriously, you can't get a good chair for less than $5,000, really? You realize you can get a sex chair off of Amazon that will literally sodomize you and it's $49.99 <laughs> with free shipping. That's real, you can go buy it. You can go buy it right now. <laughs> and now yesterday morning when this news broke, Carson's people denied that he was out there buying gold-plated chairs. And that was cool for a few hours until this came out. The Department of Housing and Urban Development is under scrutiny and rightly so. 31 grand of your money on a new dining room set for the secretary, Ben Carson. The New York Times reports HUD spent $31,000 on a new dining set for Secretary Ben Carson's office as cuts were being planned for programs to the homeless and elderly and poor. Ben Carson says he didn't know the table was purchased, but does not intend to return it. <laughs> you know, there are times when I doubt Ben Carson's blackness, but then something like this happens and I'm like, yeah, that's my dude. <laughs> No, because that's how black people handle shit, right? You get something you're not supposed to, but you have it now. Like, the guy from Verizon will call up, like, I'm sorry about this, but you paid for an iPhone 6, and we sent you a 10 by mistake. And he'll be like, uh, sounds like you f***ed up. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> so it turns out Mr. Saving Money over here wanted a chair for over $5,000, and then bought a dining set for $30,000. And now, The Guardian reported that his department just spent over $160,000 on lounge furniture. Yeah, you realize for that amount of money, he could have built a poor person a decent house. Yeah, or three uncomfortable houses, whichever way you want to go. <laughs> like, Ben Carson is clearly doing some shady shit at his department, and it might also involve his wife uh, and his son. I don't know. I do think this is probably why the secretary was so evasive last year when Congress was questioning him about his budgets. Sir, you have uh, indicated that there will be substantial cuts to the budget that HUD has. How much from housing vouchers, Mr. Carson? Uh, rather than go through a quiz on all the numbers... Uh... It's not a quiz, Mr. Carson. I have the time to ask you questions about things that you should have some knowledge of. Why would the secretary of HUD not give the number, the amount that you're cutting from housing vouchers, Mr. Carson? How much, Mr. Carson? Let's hear your number. Mr. Carson. You're the witness testifying today. And if you want a moment to ask someone behind you, I would gladly accord you that moment. I, I, do, I don't want to open the book and look at the numbers. <laughs> what? Why does he sound like a kid who's too scared to look under the bed? <laughs> I don't want to look under the bed and see the monsters. Uh, so things are not looking good for Dr. Ben Carson, right? especially because it seems like every day a new scandal pops up. And we haven't even talked about the biggest scandal yet. This happened just 11 days ago. You see, Dr. Ben Carson was on Fox News for an interview. And I'm not trying to be funny here, but he farted. <laughs> I promise you, we did not alter this footage. The audio is 100% real. Listen closely. You have a program that you told me about that really was or is the basis of this new WIN program. Right. What is it? Well, it's, it's called the Envision program. And, you know, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, without a vision, the people perish. <laughs> ben Carson didn't just fart loudly on TV. 
he did it while quoting scripture. <laughs> although, although, to be fair, to be fair, if you read the Bible, it does say, and I quote, without a vision, the people perish brap. <laughs> it's in there. But let's not let this hilarious moment distract us from the real issue. While supporting deep budget cuts to his department, Carson is spending lavishly on dining sets and lounge furniture and $5,000 chairs, which is not okay. Unless that chair costs $5,000 because it has sophisticated fart-suppressing technology. In that case, <laughs> it's money well spent. <laughs>